Today's my day off. What does that mean? Well, clearly it's not an off, off day like most people have off days. Today is simply a day where I come in and I spend very little time in the gym and I just practice the squat and I don't do any accessory work at all. Just the squat and leave. Uh, usually I pluck this thing in uh, when I'm busy on the day, you know, uh, and I simply can't take or can't be bothered to do uh, a lot of volume, a lot of variation, a lot of work in general. So I come in on this day and usually it's a high bar or front squat and I just work up to a single and I, and I leave. And I was going to do that and I came in here and I was like, cool, let's just do a 20 minute session and leave. And then I thought, well, why am I doing high bar? working up to 180, why am I doing that? Where's more value, doing that or doing something that I absolutely suck at? Okay, you got me. Let's do low bar. So I came in here and I put 120 on the bar again. And once again, I thought I was going to do 120 or push my low bar every other day. But now I'm kind of thinking to myself, I can do this every day. This is not even an event. It's 120 damn kilos. I can deadlift 270 kilos so it's not going to tie my damn posterior chain the only thing that will fatigue is the weak parts in me which is what i want the weak parts in me are not the the parts which are going to cost a lot of energy for me like the lower back or you know glutes or something like that no none of that really hurts me what hurts me the most is hip flexors and adductors that kind of hip uh rotation musculature that that, that stuff um is what bothers me uh, with low bar. Um, and so I decided to do that and I did it. It took a little bit more than 20 minutes uh, and I did five by five at 120. And then I kind of thought to myself, I can do this every damn day. <laughs> and then I started thinking to myself, well, you're not going to be able to do that for too long every day. Like when you get up to 140, 160, now we're getting into the realm of maybe this is too much. And then I started thinking about um, what Seeker Strength discovered when they went over to Japan and they were talking to Toshiki. And he revealed some absolute god awful uh, training routine that he used to run before he hit 320 kilos, whatever he ended up hitting. He was doing a five bar five with damn near 80 percent. I think it was 80 <laughs> percent. What madness! 80 percent five bar five every day. Then he followed it up, and I, I could be wrong here. It's been a while since I've seen that video. Then he followed it up with three by ten. I could be wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure it was five bar five initially. Stupid volume. Now, for those of you that have never tried to do 80%, 80 true percent for 5x5, five five, um, that is um, disgustingly heavy work. Now, to do that again the following day and again, in a, five days in a row, I don't know, man. This is when I'm in absolute awe. Uh, of this stuff and then I think to myself no nah, that's not possible without some extra supplements uh, there's just no way somebody can get through that much work recover in 24 hours come back and hit it again I'm sorry I, I, that is very very hard for me to understand maybe I'm just a, a rookie muffin down here on earth uh, not understanding what true elite level athletes do maybe I'm that but uh, I, I struggle to believe that that is possible without some true supplementation. Um, anyway, I'm doing a 5x5, five five, but I'm doing, <laughs> what am I using? 55, 60%? What, what, what is this? I don't even know what this is. This is basically 100 kilos less to what, what my true max is. Uh, you know, 55%, something like that, 60%. Very light stuff. Um you know, this is not something that's very taxing at all. So I think that's why it's doable for me to to, uh, to do this every single day. It's going to allow me to practice this uh, very awkward position, this very awkward point of reversal in the squat. Uh, like it really bothers my hip flexors to stop halfway and go back up. It really does. It's just very uncomfortable for me with not having the bounce at the bottom and, and, and you know, go. I know it sounds weird to go really deep because in that deep portion of the squat is where I feel comfortable in reversing the squat you know my quads my glutes my doctors are happy in that position but to stop to break that weight to come to a stop in a different position after many many years of hitting uh, ATG squats it's a very different feeling and so I want to iron out that feeling so I don't have that feeling and so then I can um, truly you know start using some nice weights with low bar maybe even squat more than high bar 
I mean, technically speaking, I should be squatting more than, than my high bar, right? Uh, and so I'm really intrigued to see how long it will take me to actually get to some decent weights with this. If, if my, if my uh, deadlift is 270, is it too unreasonable to expect 220, 230 on my low bar squat, 240? Like, it's not too dissimilar, the, the two, two sets of positions, the deadlift and the low bar. So I expect it to be somewhere in between 215, my ATG high bar squat, and a 270 deadlift. Somewhere in between is where I would expect my low bar squat to be. So I'm, I'm kind of in need to, um, I'm going to have to iron out some of these uh, uncomfortable sensations that I have with the low bar so I can really load it appropriately. And then I can go back to high bar as my accessory, as my, you know, um, squat where I can do less weight. <laughs> That's kind of what high bar is supposed to be in, in the first place, not the variation where you squat the most amount of weight. That's kind of um, not supposed to be like that. But in somebody that is completely untrained, completely new to a routine like this, low bar squats, the hand positioning, my wrists are copying it, my back is copying it, like everything is just, upper back is just out of position. Everything feels weird and different and I don't expect anybody to jump into a new variation like that and just start shifting huge amounts of weight. Um, that is asking for trouble, so I ain't doing that. So I think doing a 5 by 5 every day or thereabouts um, is doable, especially 120 kilos. I think that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Appreciate you guys like always and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.